chalk lines and negotiating that figure eight pattern and staying within the proper chalk lines once they get back out on that track. You see, he's got to stay in that lane too, or interference penalties might incur. He'll be assisted by two mounted outliers, dismounted at the start of the race, where one outlier will steady the new team of the driver at the start of the race. The other guy in behind must load his stove in the rear concealed stove rack of the jump wagon, and at the sound of the horn, they load up, mount up, and cast their fate to the figure eight. So Jordy's going to come in and line up on that bottom or track barrel. He is going to line his rear wheel up with, even with or just behind. If that rear wheel is ahead of that bottom barrel, it's going to be a penalty, or if he starts ahead of the horn, it's another penalty. So everything's got to go tickety-boo, and when it's all set, the judges will push the button and blow the horn, something like this. How's that horn sound? So they are up to their figure eight pattern. Our outrider's got to mount up to that same pattern. His lead team is being a bit unruly tonight. Jordy will deal with that. Make that left turn, Jordy, and get out between the rails, and now it's a horse race. It's a good old-fashioned horse race, but he cut out the wrong lane, so the judges, if there were four other wagons out there, would penalize him for that. And he's headed into that turn. If you watch on the Terminia big screens, you'll see what he sees as he goes down that back stretch and around the turns. Jordy, our president, lost his hat. President Warren lost his hat. Now, as he goes down that back stretch, his outriders are trying to get in position. They need to finish the race within 150 feet of Jordy's lead team. There's an outrider lined down on the track with a big red flag. That signifies the outrider line. Now, as Jordy comes around that corner, all the outriders, let's say that he's in the lead. All the other wagons must pay attention to what he's going to do. He cannot interfere with the progress of another wagon or they give him an interference penalty. And when he rounds his fourth and final turn, he must pick a lane and stay in that lane so other wagons can pass him. So here's where you come in. The louder you cheer, the quicker we'll get here. Jordy White and the GMC Rangeland and the Jump Wagon. They're pretty decent run tonight with a slow start. Outriders and pitcher perfect for And uh, Mr. President will get you a new cowboy hat. Don't worry about that. Could you give it up one more time for Jordy Fike and our friends at GMC? Now, 